of this training. In our last class, we did Iro and Buba. So today we are moving on to a short skate. The materials we'll be needing are our thread, chalk, scissors, zip, lining, a material, and our tape the measurements we'll be working with today is length 22, band 28, e 34. The first thing that to fold your material. Now we are going to add 8 inches to our band and our hips measurements. Our band measurement is 28, so we we'll had 8 to it. Our hips measurement is 34, so we we'll had 8 inches to it. So our length is 22, and we we'll had 3 inches to it. So now we'll cut 25 for our length, that's 22 plus 3 inches allowance that's 25 now you're going to fold your material to know what you fold your material into we have our hips to be 34 and we are adding 8 inches so that means we have 42 now you divide 42 into 4 and fold your tape this way to make it easy. First into two, you have 21. Then into two again, you have 10 and a half. So 42 divided by four, we have 10 and a half. Which means our material will be folded by 10 and a half. Yeah. So, our waist is 28 plus 8, we have 36. So divided by 4, we have 9. We have 9. And we have our hip 34 plus 8, that's 42. Divided by 4, we have 10 and half. So now because it is a straight pencil skirt, I will minus one from what I have for my hip. So I have ten and a half for my hips, and here I will have nine and a half. And I'll join the shape together. Now we'll cut. is our front. Now to cut out the back. I'll just place my material on it. Placing my front on it to get my back. Then I'll leave one inch allowance. one inch allowance for my zip and the slits then I'll cut exactly what I have for the front yeah so I'll divide this So this is my front and I have this for the back. 
the next thing now is to cut the lining Exactly what I have. And the same thing for the back. I'll divide this also. I have my front and my back. Now, because I want it to be a closed slit. I'll measure out my slits. Same. So your wideness can be from 7, 8, 9, 10, upward, depending on whatever design you want. Now we move to the next stage. Welcome to the next stage. I have my front and I'll start my sewing from the top which is the band. So the first thing is to sew. Then I'll top stitch. turn the side now like half inch of my material then I'll sew just a tiny sewing at the edge I started from the hand because my lining should not be placed underneath my material. It should always be on top of my material. So I'll turn it inside out. Turning it inside out. Then I'll fold into two. Folding it this way, I already know my middle. So from the middle, I'll measure four inches to bring out my darts. Four inches on each side. So 
so I'll bring out my bags this way straight down You can have a three inches that or four inches that which will stop here and you can bring out a straight that and the same thing on the other side. A straight dance. I'm done with my fronts. I'm done with my fronts. Now the back. I'm going to apply the same rules. from the band the same thing to the other side starting from the band Then I'll top stitch. The same thing to the other side, I'll top stitch. The next thing I'll fold in half inch of my material. Then I'll sew just a tiny sewing. And the same thing to the other side here yeah? I said your lining should not be placed underneath your material so I'll start from the end I'll do the same thing to the other side. Folding in half of half inch of my material. Then I'll fold it inside out. Inside out. Turning it. Out. So 
So now I'll place this straight edge to the other one. No. Whichever way you want to fix your zip, if you want it at the back of your skirt, then you leave seven inches. If you want it at the side, join this egg together. So I want mine at the side of my skirt, which means I'll have to close this. And for my slits, I'll measure 11. For my slits, So now from the middle, I'll measure four on each side, which will serve as my darts. Four for my darts. So the next thing now is to bring out our shape. We are almost done with our skirts. Our front. So remember we are working it with band 28, which means we'll have 14, that's divided by two, 14. Here we have 16 and a half. We are left with two and a half, which means we'll share one and quarter here, then one and quarter in. Then our hips is 34, divided by two, 17. So we have 18 which means we have one left we share half inch and half inch so here now is going to be subtracted by two our hips is 34 so here will be 32 since it is a pencil skirt We have 18, 32 divided by 2 is 16. We have 18, which means we have 2 inches left. And we'll share 1 inch and 1 inch. Now we'll join. Don't forget, I said I want my zip at the side of my skirt. So, don't forget that. My zip is going to be fixed here, so I will leave 7 inches for my zip, 7 inches for my zip and I'll start my sewing from here. Leaves. I left 11 inches. If you like, you can leave 10 inches. 
so leaving 11 inches then my cover will be 12 inches that's the length this is 11 inches then i'll have a closed slit of 12 inches which means if you are leaving 10 for your open slits you have a cover slit of 11 inches so you start sewing one edge to the other and this to this so the middle now I'll open it and then So each edge is down to close the slit edge. Stopping at the middle. Then I'll pick it from where I stop. To the other side. Turning it inside out. Our sketch is almost done. So now we'll fix our zip. So our zip is going to start from here, down, and the other side, down. Tuck it in. So you stand your needle, continue your sewing, the same thing, stand your needle for a sharp edge. Tuck this in. Yeah. So you fold it, fold two inches in. This is the last thing, and then we are done with our skirt. Two inches as the allowance, then you fold. We are done with our skirts. 
I hope you enjoyed the class. This is our skirts. And the closed slits. I believe by now you know how to make your euro and buba and your short skates. Until we meet next class. Bye.